Steven here from Recreational Power Sports coming at you with a brand new Sanger. She's got a couple in here. So this is a 2024 Sanger. It's a 215SX. Um, I'll go through with you top to bottom, show you all the features, uh, show you what we love about these boats. Uh, so first off, uh, we noticed we got a custom hatch trailer with a swing away tongue, brakes, uh, wind strap, obviously tongue jack on the far side. Uh, when we get further back, you see we've got a removable spare tire and the little guides and everything here. So super cool, uh, custom matched once again, as you can see here. Uh, as you come alongside, uh, a couple cool things they got going on. They got the gator decking on top. You can see that there. The black exterior chrome bumper. Come alongside, see we got like an orange color, they call it camel. So very nice fits really really nice there as you can see here we got the magic spare tire with the drop down as well underneath the trailer fits nice gator decking on the trailer itself matching apollo tower it is foldable it's got the swivel racks on it which is a super nice feature uh the nice thing about that is you can always swivel it in put your board on take it off put it out right as you can see it's coming to the back we got the load guides, nice feature of the trailer. Very back of the boat. Got the gator decking with the Sanger logo built right into it. We got the ghost tabs underneath here for surfing. Right, so they really help the wake shape a lot better. You got a center tab as well to help you uh, with the wake end, or if you put both tabs up, you can do a better skiing job as well. And underwater lights as well in the back of the boat. As you come along the left side of the here, you can see that the boat itself doesn't have much freeboard. It's a nice shallow boat, but it feels like a really big boat. The wake is second to none. It really does throw a really, really nice big wake with this little tiny boat. When you're not wake, uh, wake surfing or, or you know wakeboarding or anything and you just want to do some water skiing or cruising it does drive really nice handles really nice and when you're doing that skiing it does have a nice small wake follow me inside we'll check out what the interior is all about okay at the open bow here you can see the nice fit and finish there right it's uh nice and cozy you can see that as it sits right now, you have just the, the center filler in here. So it is like a nice lay down bed. You can remove this and then it becomes more of an open bow concept. It's got a courtesy light. We got some cup holders. We got a 12 volt adapter underneath here for charging. As you can tell the three, the tritone colors just make this boat pop. When you put this back into place, there's also a air damper here that you just put in. And as you're cruising down the lake, will keep all the air off as you close the windshield just smoke my head there you go okay so in the main cockpit area here we got a bolster seat the driver bolster seat as you can see here we love the bolster seats because when you're cruising you're doing your water sports you can see above the windshield right and then if you push back down the other nice feature about this seat is that you can actually sit sideways seat forward or backwards unimpeded there's no armrests or anything here so that's how they designed this seat it fits really nice it feels good driving down the lake uh, we have the tilt steering my favorite all the analog buttons here as well as on the dash display when you light it up it has all the digital displays and digital buttons as well uh, you get your stereo override here ignition switch you also have analog gauges as well as a digital dash, which is super, super cool. You want to check out on top of the Bimini, right here, and on this side, there's two surfboard spots. They made that there just so that you can store surfboards while you're cruising and keep everything out of the main cockpit. The, the passenger side, you got a nice large glove box with the gator decking inside it just keep everything from moving around lots of storage underneath basically if you were to start here you could see that the storage goes from all the way at the very front all the way alongside to right here and on so super cool that way 
We've got lots of insect cup holders everywhere. We got like a seagrass flooring, a woven flooring here. So it fits nicely. Apollo folding tower, like I mentioned, tower speakers. You could put your, uh, the reason why the zipper's here is you throw your rope up here and you put it on top of the pylon this way on your tower. So it's easy to put the rope on. You're not wrestling, trying to get it over top of the bimini. The bimini top does fold down nicely as you'll see in our pictures. The back of the boat here, we got the ballast system on each side. So we got a thousand pounds on each side in the rear. There's the tarp, comes with the tarp. Thousand pounds in the rear, 500 in the front. So about 2,500 pounds. We got pop-up ski pylon for your skiing. You turn it to lock it. Okay, so for your skiing aspect, if you're not skiing, you're surfing, doing anything else, go off the tower. And then obviously, we got the Raptor 400 in there. It's closed, cooled, uh, ready to go, ready to hit the lake. So we'd be happy to take you guys on a lake test. We'd be happy to show you guys the boat. We'd be happy for you guys to come down to the dealership and check it out. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, check us out, recreationalpowersports.com or come on down to the dealer.